Look at all these video games. We got Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Assassin's Creed, uh oh, Battle Battlefield Thief. Oh, you got him from the second son too. What's that, Toon Link? You say I should review a Zelda game? Hmm, I don't know. What's that? What's that other little Toon Link? You also say I should review a Zelda game? Hmm, I don't know still. Oh, what's that? Nintendo 3DS XL Zelda Edition? You also say, somehow, that I should play Legend of Zelda game? Then let's do it. One thing you may know about me, considering my awkward intro and my YouTube banner and icon, I love the Legend of Zelda series. It's one of my favorite series next to the ones I grew up with on the PlayStation 1, like Spyro or Crash Bandicoot. But, but I just recently started getting into Zelda about a few years ago, so I didn't really like The Legend of Zelda that much until that time. So, today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite games of all time, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Okay, so before I get to the review, I want to give you a little bit of backstory on my history with The Legend of Zelda. So I grew up with a Sony PlayStation, and... That was not my choice, really. I got a Sony PlayStation because of my big brother who got it. Yeah. But PlayStation was a pretty awesome console. I got Crash Bandicoot 3 War, my first game I ever played. Plus all three Spyro games. Those were pretty fun. And I also didn't get to experience anything Nintendo-wise. I didn't even know the Nintendo 64 existed till I visited my friends one day. So, I visited my friends to spend the night, and lo and behold, there's this thing called the Nintendo 64. Yay. But, I all, but anyway, so, I was playing with him, and I discovered Super Mario 64 on there. I was like, whoa, this game's pretty fun. Then he also had another game, his gold case thing. Um, and in case you don't know... It was not Ocarina of Time. It was actually Majora's Mask. And because my friend did not have a memory, um, what do you call that? Like an expander or whatnot uh, for the Nintendo 64, he could not play Majora's Mask at the time. So I just sat there and looked at it. As time went on, I eventually went to another friend's house who actually did have Ocarina of Time. And, yes, I was a very little kid when I first played Ocarina of Time, so don't laugh at me before this, but whenever I saw the Stalfos at the very beginning when you're in Hyrule Field and it's nighttime, I got so scared, someone else had to take over the controller for me. It's pretty embarrassing to say now, but as a kid, that stuff scared me. Anyway, I didn't play another Legend of Zelda game until my brother got a Game Boy Advance and he got Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past with four swords on it. And and a sad story was he got got it stolen from him when he was in high school. So all those games he had for his Game Boy Advance that were pretty cool. Yeah, they're all gone now. Someone else has them. It stinks pretty bad. But so really, Legend of Zelda, after the Game Boy Advance era, was really just game a game to me. It was, other people said it was just the best game series ever invented. Ocarina of Time was the best Zelda ever. I couldn't really know for myself because of the fact I had never actually gotten to experience any of these games. It wasn't until recently, in 2012 actually, when which... Um, at the end of my 8th grade year, yes, 8th grade is pretty far back, even though I'm only a 10th grader right now, but anyway, I finally beat The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Wii Virtual Console. It was one of the best games I had ever played. And also, after I beat Ocarina of Time, it was, since it was such a good game, I thought, Majora's Mask is probably just as good, 
So I went and played Majora's Mask. And Majora's Mask is now my favorite Zelda game of all time. Really closely up to Ocarina of Time. And followed by A Link Between Worlds. A game I just recently got this last year. But that really concludes my history with Zelda. So, on to the review. This game is now a part of my life. It's one of it's definitely a good game. The gameplay is really good. Only a few parts in it where I, where I was finding myself in which I was getting a little bit screwed over by the AI. But that changed in like 2 seconds after I respawned. And I remember the first time I was in the forest temple and I was just sitting around in the in the rotating room. And I sat, I was sitting there, like, looking at a guide, yes, I had to use a guide for the first time I played Ocarina of Time, don't laugh at me, but, anyway, so I was looking at a guide, like, right in a split instant, a thing just came down and grabbed me, I had no idea what it was, and it scared me so bad, I, like, didn't want to play the Forest Temple for, like, the rest of the night. So, anyway, Ocarina of Time, it has great gameplay. The story is actually not that bad. I mean, considering most Zelda games before this one never really had story in the first place, this one's story was pretty good. Also, the graphics for how far back this game was made, I think they were made to the full extent of the Nintendo 64's hardware. I think Majora's Mask improved the graphics by just a little bit more, but Ocarina of Time really stepped it up when it came to 3D graphics wise. That is why it is also one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games of all time. Uh, yeah. Majora's Mask still wins, sorry. Also, I was playing the Water Temple and since I was using a guide it wasn't near as hard as some people would say it is. So, but one day I will do that temple without a guide and I will have the most frustrating uh, experience of my life but anyway that leads me on to another story I have with Ocarina of Time which is actually pretty interesting I actually beat Ocarina of Time for the second time this la this year in 2014 yeah that's why I had the Nintendo 64 cartridge that's and you were probably wondering Oh, Nolan, why did you play it on the Wii Virtual Console if you have the Nintendo 64 cartridge already? Well, I didn't have a Nintendo 64 till late last year. Yeah, that sucks also. But, so I also, so I just got that game for Christmas and I beat it and it was fun. For the second time in a row. Also, there were times in the game which I was playing and... Navi is not as annoying as some people think. There are only certain times in which you are doing something super important, but Navi will just start, Hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen, and it will get on my nerves so much, I eventually clicked the button, I was yelling at Navi to shut up, and, but, it didn't happen as much with the Nintendo 64 version of it, so I was wondering what was up with that. Nintendo, explain yourself. But anyway... What can I really say about this game that already hasn't been said? It's a really good game, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, this game gets 4 and 1 fourth hearts out of 5. And that's just be and the reason it doesn't get a near perfect score is because Majora's Mask is just that much better than it. Just a tiny percentage. Anyway. That's my first, that's my review of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, folks.